Hi, my name's Dave. Uh, I'm the sound designer here for uh, Flagship Studios. Yeah, most of my most of my day is spent uh, in my office cutting sound or uh, in the booth uh, recording it. <laughs> I, uh, I I record or I make uh, a lot of a lot of important sounds for the game. <laughs> I have a lot of people uh, stop by my office curious about what I'm doing. Uh, there she knows that the stores all are closed. And the word she can't get what she um, um, came for. Uh, a lot of people don't understand uh, how much work and effort goes into uh, creating the entire soundscape for a game. One thing we'll do that, that I'll do is go to a, uh, a Foley stage. Okay, uh, here we go, rolling. Foley stage is basically something that was uh, set up for the movies. That uh, is an is an area for uh, creating mostly human human type sounds, such as footsteps or body movement or or uh, cloth rustle. It's a large open room with a with a large variety of surfaces that you can use to create a lot of sounds uh, in an assembly line manner. We use all kinds of stuff in our game. We have uh, eleven different surfaces that you can walk on. And so uh, we have everything from concrete to wood to uh, the top of a train, which uh, generally is used, uh, it's made by using a car hood or a car door. Uh, you know, we'll bring in gravel or sand or uh, uh, we have snow, which we use uh, rock salt and starch to, uh, to simulate. In addition to having 11 surfaces, we have, you know, upwards of 30 monsters in the game at the moment. Uh, <laughs> that could that could grow uh, quite a bit, and we also have uh, the player characters, and then we'll have bosses too. Each each player character will have its own distinct uh, footstep sounds. Monsters share some, you know. So we we made well, at our at our last foley session we made about ten or fifteen different uh, monster sounds. So you know, imagine ten different monster sounds times eleven different surfaces times we actually do it depending on the motion uh, whether. The monster's running, strafing, running backwards, uh, jumping, landing. So uh, each one of those, each motion for each monster has to be made on each surface. Implementing the sounds is kind of a uh, uh, cohesive process between myself and the uh, programmers. Because uh, the way our animations work, the, the animations for, for the different monsters and the different motions are blended together. So I can't just cut up an individual footstep and tie it to a certain point in the animation, say the foot always hits 37% of the way through the animation, the left foot hits, and you know 92% of the way through the animation, the right foot hits. Because these different animations are being blended together, the programmers will actually come up with a system whereby, uh, I think through the physics system in the game, they can tell when the foot actually falls on the ground. And so what I'll do is I'll take all those different footsteps, and I'll cut them up into individual files, and then I'll, I'll have individual files for, say, the Templar, you know, for, for the Templar running. And whenever the Templar is running and the uh, physics system says, okay, foot's hit the ground, uh, the game will call one of, those, one of those sounds. Okay, moving on to the run. Here we go, rolling. One of the reasons we use Foley artists is because, you know, they have their, their professional walkers, pretty much is what it is. So they can, they, uh, when, when we're in the session, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm showing them the animation and showing them, and they're, they're looking at how the characters are running and how the characters are moving, and, and it's their job to take that 
and basically interpret it into footsteps. So, you know, when you see the zombies walking along, they're, they, they have a limp to them. You know, and if I just sent, you know, an intern or someone out in the parking lot and said, hey, you know, go ahead and uh, do zombie footsteps for me out there, you know, they might be thinking about it, but they might not. But the, the Foley artist is always, is always looking and, and thinking what's going on, kind of, kind of becoming an actor for that character's foot. So for that zombie, you know, when, when, it's, when it's limping along, you know, it, it, it sounds instead of just boom, 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 it's really... Soft hard, soft hard, soft hard. You know, that the first footfall hits and then the second one really, really slams home. So Foley is just one small aspect of the sound that goes that goes into the making of a game like Hellgate. So check back in because we'll be talking a lot more about uh, the music and and the dialogue and all kinds of other sounds. Other sounds. Other sounds. Other sounds. Other sounds. Other sounds. Yeah. And hopefully next time he won't be there. Damn! Look at these tapes. I know. I know. It's amazing. I've, I've been thinking about that all day, actually. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing tomorrow, Ron? <laughs>